Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I came up with this gorgeous geometric design using some gel paints. I already have my base down. I have two coats of Kiara Sky's Nude Swings and it's also been top coated with Young Nails Manicure Top Coat. Just to save time on the video because it is a lot of hand painting so it's going to be rather long. After removing that inhibition layer that the manicure top coat left behind, I'm going to scoop out some of that Young Nails Mesh Control Gel Paint in Fizz using my Black Beetles brush. I'll have it linked below. I got it on Amazon. It came in like a four pack, I believe. I'm scooping some of that gel. I'm putting it on the tile. And you're going to see that I'm going to alternate between the tile and the pop. So I'm doing this for a couple reasons. When I want a crisp line, I'm squeegeeing it off of the tile. So what I'm basically doing is I'm applying some of that gel on the tile and I'm running my brush through it. And as I'm running it, I'm actually t um, slowly turning my brush and that's going to bring my brush to a very thin point. I'm doing that so that I have nice crisp lines. Once I have my shape or my outline, then I'm going to go from the pot to the nail. The reason I'm going from the pot to the nail is because when you dip into the pot, you're going to have a little bit of a bulge at the ends of your brush. So it's you're bringing over a lot more product than when you're squeegeeing it off. This is going to be good because I'm filling in that area. So I don't want to go in with thin amounts. Now, here's the catch. You don't want to OD. You don't want to put way too much gel on that nail because what's going to happen is it's not going to cure. It's going to wrinkle on you and it's going to look all kinds of wonky. So... You want to be mindful of how much uh, product you're applying, but you want to have enough to fill in that triangle without struggling. So after I draw the, the triangle and fill it in, I'm outlining it with that liner brush again. I'm squeegeeing it off of the, off of the tile so that I have nice crisp lines. Flash curing is going to be your best friends while doing this design. Uh, I know Young Nails claims that their paint doesn't move, but I'm here to tell you that's a lie. So I'm taking Kiara Sky little mini lamp that comes in, that comes with like their press-ons or their jelly tips. I have it sitting around, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to use that to flash cure. So I'm just taking that, turning it on, and I'm moving it around the finger just to freeze that, just so that I don't have to take... Uh, the hands off and put it in the entire lamp and just you know it saves time so definitely use it if you have it or any type of mini lamp like that don't just leave it collecting dust and only use it when you're doing like jelly tips or gel x definitely use them uh as i create the design i'm going to be flash curing because if not i am going to suffer uh it's very easy to dap it and mess it up and also like i said the lines kind of the longer the gel paint sits on the nail the more it kind of like just gets weird and it moves so you want to flash cure it in between at this point i'm going to be fast forwarding because like i said it is a lot of hand painting if i'm quite honest without the fast forwarding the footage was about 48 minutes long and that's raw and uncut so i don't want to bore you guys showing you the same thing i'm going to start with my white uh, triangles going across so here I'm just doing the tip it low-key looks like a pencil <laughs> like a white color pencil it's, it's so funny but anyway you want to move through the design and you just want to do triangles you know get creative do bigger triangles smaller triangles you know just let your imagination take control at this point in a few minutes you're gonna see that I'm gonna switch over to black and then do I'm gonna do the same exact thing but I wanted to leave a portion of it in kind of real time because I did speed it up a little bit more. This hand painting does take a lot of time, which is why you want to charge good money when you're hand painting, especially geometric or straight lines. There's nothing harder to me than to paint a straight freaking line. So you want to charge accordingly like that. It's worth it for you. And like I said, freeze cure as you or freeze flash as you go through your design so that you don't mess it up or accidentally wipe it you know you want to keep it as secure as possible at all times
why it's a good thing that I was flash curing because that line came out a little crooked. I wasn't feeling it. But because I flash cured, I didn't have to start that entire nail from the beginning. Just wiped it off and what I flash cured stayed on and what I didn't, it came off. I want to quickly point out that I know it may look like I'm flashing for like a half of a second, but I'm not. I'm actually flashing for 20, 25 seconds. You want to flash over 15 seconds. Anything before that is not going to secure it. It's not going to freeze. I'm also moving my lamp one side of the nail to the opposite side of the nail, almost rotating it. Well, actually rotating it so that it gets cured from all angles. Next, I'm going, I'm, I'm cleaning off my brush using a lint-free wipe and I'm doing the same thing I did with that fizz but this time I'm gonna do it with Young Nails Mission Control Gel Paint in Overdrive so I slowed it down for you guys so you guys can see me uh, doing it but you wanna apply the black where it'll complement the white so again it's I, I can't tell you where to place it it's going to be impossible for me to do so especially if you change the if you're not doing uh, this shape if you're doing a square or if you're doing a square nail instead of uh, the stiletto so you want to just use your imagination and apply the black where you think it's going to look best the best thing about flash curing is that if you don't like how that black turned out the way that i did it you can wipe it off and draw it somewhere else so like i said flash cure and just at this point just let your imagination take control just apply the, the overdrive to complement that fizz and you're good to go what I mean by get creative for the majority of the, the design I've been just outlining the triangle but on this nail I went a little rogue <laughs> and I drew a line in a different way so and you're gonna see at the end I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little more to that nail but at the end it it, it ends up being my favorite nail so don't be afraid to uh, do lines in different directions or uh, in random places you know the world is your oyster. Do as you please. <laughs>
video inspires you to recreate a version of it or the same exact thing on your own if you do I hope that you guys post it and that you tag me on it because I would love to see it I'm gonna leave my Instagram accounts on the screen so that you guys can tag me or if you want you can give me a quick little follow just saying and I will most certainly return the favor um, oh you see look how pretty this nail turned out it's my rogue nail but it's my prettiest <laughs> After I'm done flash curing it, I'm going to take the hand and I'm going to pop it into my lamp so that it can cure completely. And then I'm going to take Young Nails Manicure Base and I'm applying that over the nail. I'm not going straight into top coat because since I used gel paint, the lines and everywhere I use the gel paint, it's a little more risen than everything else. So I want to try to smooth that out before I top coat it so that the, the surface of the nail is nice and smooth. You can remedy that by using a different medium you can use uh, acrylic paint as opposed to gel paints the only thing is that acrylic paint you got to be more mindful of your strokes or how much you dilute it because it's not going to come out as consistent as uh, gel paint does in my opinion i did this design on my beautiful roomie <laughs> and i wasn't too crazy about how the lines came out because you know they weren't as consistent so i much prefer using uh, the gel paint as opposed to the acrylic paint but that's just me you can give it a try and see if it comes out better for you i might just have to play around with my you know with my acrylic paints a little bit more before i'm more confident on them but for me gel paint is the way to go i'm flipping the hand upside down so that all of that base can kind of smooth out the nail and then I'm going to give that a full cure in my regular lamp and then I'm going to top that with Young Nails Manicure Top uh, manicure top Coat. So this is becoming my much preferred top coat. I know I use Ultimate Finish a lot but I'm using it because I have it. I feel like this one, the Manicure Top, lasts a lot longer in my opinion. I've been using the Ultimate Finish on my family members and you know they're a little rogue kind of like my favorite nails so they come every like six weeks and by the time they come the nail is just not as as shiny as they are when when i use this top coat once again i'm flipping that over and then i'm going to cure that and this is the final design i hope you guys like it and since you lasted this long i mean you may as well just give me a nice little like and a follow i mean you can always do that but that's it for this video. Thanks.